I'm very happy with my $200 3D printer. It's an MP Select Mini from Monoprice. With its heated bed, cheap replacement parts and color display you get a great value for your budget. Though there are still a couple of issues that need to be solved. For example if you like to print TPU based materials like NinjaFlex you'll soon run into problems. Because we have a Bowden tube type of printer it needs to push the filament through a guide tube until it reaches the extruder nozzle. Two gaps between the feeder gear and the beginning of the Bowden tube cause filament curling up instead of getting pushed through. To solve that problem I've designed a new feeder base plate that completely eliminates gaps, adds overall rigidity and looks a bit nicer. For this upgrade you do not need to buy any additional part, your stock fittings and screws work just fine. I'd recommend printing this in PLA, other materials might have different shrinking characteristics and end up not fitting as expected. You'll find a free STL download link in the video description. 20% infill should be enough, you do not need any supports or a brim or even a raft. Once you are finished printing, you need a side cutter, a 2.5mm allen key and a sharp knife. First unload your filament and remove the Bowden tube by pushing in the blue ring and pulling out the tube. Remove the extruder arm by applying some force and unscrewing the allen screw. Next remove the upper two screws and take off the old base plate. You can now also unscrew the fitting from the metal plate and save these parts for later. Now you need to take off a bit of the Bowden tube. You don't need 2 cm, 1.5 should also be fine. Make sure to not damage the circular shape of the tube, otherwise you will have a higher friction when your filament gets pushed through. Next step is to take the new plate and install the Bowden fitting. First insert the nut into the slot and then screw in the fitting. This should be a tight fit and feel very rugged. Now take the cut off Bowden piece, look for the better side and push it into the guide hole. This has to be very tight so it does not slip out while printing. If it is too slippery to push in, feel free to use a side cutter. But be careful and make sure to not bend the tube. Now comes the crucial part. You now have to cut the tube to make it line up with the feeder gear and extruder arm. Take your time and be very precise. Look at the part from above and imagine where the center line of the feeder gear will be. Cut an arrow shaped like piece and give it a first try. Unscrew the last screw and take care the stepper does not fall in. While holding the stepper you can align your base plate and check whether the tube fits or not. As you can clearly see we need to cut off a bit more. Don't take off too much, it's better to do this a couple of times instead of cutting away too much material. Repeat the process of cutting away small pieces of the tube. Grope your way towards a perfect fit and do a quick check from time to time. Always look from above to make sure your end is symmetric. Imagine where the feeder gear and extruder arm will be. The goal is to create some sort of negative shape so the tube aligns perfectly without leaving any gap. This time it looks pretty good. To double check whether it fits or not you can quickly install your extruder arm. Insert and tighten one screw into the plate and put the arm back on. In my case I can see that it looks pretty good but we are still not there yet. So I need at least one more try. So here's a quick tip. To cut off straight you can insert the old metal plate to act as a cutting surface. Now it looks just perfect. After installing and tightening everything up you can clearly see how well this fits. No gaps whatsoever. After putting the Bowden tube back in and feeding in some material we are ready for a test run. I hope you'll enjoy this new part. If you liked this video please give it a thumbs up. When running into problems feel free to ask anything in the comments. If you are interested in 3D printing projects, designing mechanical stuff, programming microcontrollers and much more, subscribe to my channel. Take care and happy printing.